This is a video I've been thinking about making for a long time now and I've been hesitant about making it simply because everybody's so hyped about the YouTube train and how to become a YouTuber and become big and successful and make money by making videos online and I'm not against that at all. I, I'm in love with YouTube, the platform and the ability to share a story like this. But YouTube has so many downsides and downsides that you should understand. You should probably watch this video, there's a resolution at the end. It's something you should know. Reason number one is a mistake that every single YouTuber makes from the beginning to the end. Believing that people actually give a shit about you or your content. If it's not you, they're gonna be spending their time watching somebody else. That's the uh, the untold truth of YouTube and it's the simple fact that it doesn't matter how big your audience is, how many comments you receive, people will never genuinely care about you the way that a friend would or a family member. And that's what a lot of people look for in YouTube. They want uh, more than just a fan base of an audience. They want companionship in a really weird way. Now I've looked for that before on YouTube myself. I've actually always wanted to have a massive audience and people that I can communicate with and talk about my life and things like that. But the one thing that I've always had to realize is that it doesn't matter how many stories I tell about my past, uh, about where I want to go in the future, people don't care. They'll support you, they'll help you, but more often than not, they do not care. The second mistake people make is that they don't understand that your content can be the best in the world. It can be uh, a Hollywood standard movie. And unfortunately, you will never succeed on YouTube unless you realize one thing. Your content is never better than your thumbnail and your title. And that sucks. It really does suck. As a content creator that spends hours if not days editing each and every video that he makes who invests thousands and thousands of pounds into equipment goes and tells the most intimate stories about his relationships and his lifestyle and and everything else knowing that you're never better than this is really upsetting it's also one of the main reasons people get so fucking depressed on youtube because you spend hours days weeks months years creating content just to realize that people will never look past this Wrong way, this. So if you're going into YouTube, keep an open mind. Just remember that you are selling something to people. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. That's the way YouTube treats it. And your video won't even show up in the algorithm and the search results unless you get traffic, unless you engage people. And the only way you engage people is to get them to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff that you should do to this video. But without that, you're not going anywhere. The third mistake people made, I just touched on it, it's, it's the ability to realize that you're not going anywhere on YouTube unless you can play the algorithm. And that's complete and utter bullshit in my opinion. When YouTube first started a couple of years ago, it was simply you upload a video, you tell a story, share it on social media, and, and that would work. YouTube has blown up. Hundreds and thousands of people are uploading hundreds of thousands of hours of content every single minute to YouTube, um, which basically means that there's only one way to filter through that. And that is simply to say, you know what? The ones that people view, we're gonna promote those. We're gonna put those in the search. We're gonna put those in the recommended section on YouTube. But all the ones that aren't getting any traffic, any click through, any watch time, I'm sorry, but you gotta be left behind. Which is why you have to make this video so goddamn interesting. Which is why you have to become a fucking entertainer now. It isn't just about sitting down and creating content and telling a story. You have to become a bloody entertainer. I, I like that because it pushes people to work harder, it pushes people to edit better, to tell better stories, and to be better entertainers, and to be better presenters, but at the same time, that retracts from what YouTube started as, and unfortunately, that's the way it's going to be for the foreseeable future. The fourth mistake is realizing that you're actually one in a million, if not more. I think it's the amount of users on YouTube now is somewhere in the tens, if not hundreds of millions. You're one of those. You have these massive content creators, PewDiePie, Philip DeFranco, Ben Brown, Casey Neistat, all these people making amazing content. Peter McKillen, just want to throw him in there because he's somebody I'm obsessed with at the moment. And you have to understand that you are in competition with these people. And while they may be friends, you may look up to them, uh, they may be role models, they are your competition. And you are competing with them to get your views, to get your likes, to get your subscribers, to get people interested in your content. So you have to be the number one. You have to know that once you've finished editing your video, you finish shooting it, that you are better than all of those people, or at least you deserve the respect that they get as well. 
And if you ever want to make it to the top, you ever want to be in the top 50 YouTubers, you ever want to go to all these events like the, the YouTuber parties that they have in LA and the UK, you want to go to the YouTube creator space where they, you can rent out studios and do all of this kind of stuff, you're going to have to kiss ass. Like you're going to have to go to, to bigger YouTubers, people who actually have uh, a voice on the platform and say, you know what, I'm a content creator. I've been uploading videos every day or every week for the last six months and I need help. I need help getting noticed. And more often than not, YouTubers are introverts. So that makes it very difficult for us to be able to say, hey, you know what? I make my own content, but I need to make content with you. So the fifth and final thing that puts me off being a YouTuber is the fact that you have to treat YouTube as a business. As I said before, you're in competition, not only with all the YouTubers, but you have to realize that you are selling something. And that is the way that YouTube works. You're selling yourself. You're selling your story. You're selling your opportunities. And when you get bigger as a YouTuber, you're also selling products. You're actually promoting products that you believe in. You are selling their product. They are using your audience to be able to generate profit. And that's the way YouTube is. Now, seeing as you are a product, you are selling yourself, and how do you do that? You need to promote yourself on social media, which means that not only are you a full-time YouTuber, you're also your full-time PR person, your full-time advertiser, you deal with all the money and everything else, unless you go out and you hire people like accountants and lawyers and all that to deal with that. But you can't do that as a smaller YouTuber, so it's, it's a catch-22, but you have to be so many things at one time in order to be a YouTuber these days. The one thing that I want you to take away from this video is remember that you're one in a million. And by that, I mean that you need to do something unique. You need to do something special. And this video isn't particularly special, but it's me being honest. Anybody can vlog their day, share their experiences, but it's the content of those events that make you different and make you special and individual. Anybody can go and say, I'm going to Walmart today. I'm going to Tesco's. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy that. Check out some of these cars that I found on the street. You need to make it special. You need to be different from everybody else that is doing that one thing. Otherwise, you're not going to succeed. That's not how YouTube used to be, but unfortunately the platform is changing. And you need to be able to be different, you need to be better than everybody else, and you need to be unique. Thank you for watching the video, that's why I don't think you should become a YouTuber. But the revelation to this video is quite simple. If you think you can bypass all of that, you think you can be unique, you think you can be special, you think that you have a story to tell that people should listen to and you know how to engage that audience, then do it. You need to prove yourself though.